I duck. Today we're going to be messing with or playing with magnets and cat eye gel and some random stuff. So let's get cracking. We're going to be working on Aliana because she doesn't moan and she's missed me so much. And I just thought I've got to show her some love. If this was a natural nail, or even if it was a nail extension and all that malarkey, you're going to put your base coat on. But because this is just a soft gel tip, we're just going to use it on with the colour. Because it doesn't matter. No one's going to wear it. It doesn't need longevity. But longevity is in your base coat, okay? So we're going to use the colour Void. So Void is our black. And if you really, really want a high quality, super black that you can paint with and draw things and everything like that and get amazing coverage, oh, this is, this is the one for you though, because the coverage is insane. Absolutely insane. The formula is beautiful, it self levels. And if you're doing a long nail like we are today, if you kind of paint it on sort of three quarters of the way down, then reload and take off excess on one side of the brush. So when you reload, you're going to drag, take off the excess on one side of the brush. So you just have product on one side. Yeah. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to bounce. So we're bouncing to the cuticle to get it nice and neat. And as we come down, we're not going to run out of product on the brush, are we? Because we've already put it on and you'll get a cleaner application. The slower that you pull through the product, so the slower you pull through that gel polish, the less sort of bubbles, if you keep going like this, like this, like this, you'll create more air. You're kind of whipping it up. So because it's not a cake, you don't need to do that. One coat, look at that. Wow. Bang it in the lamp. 30 seconds. You only need one coat as well for that one, with uh, what you're doing. I think we only need one coat, yeah. Mm. Because that, that pigment is like crazy amazing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the cat eye gel polish. So we're using, Nail has got lots of different cat eye gel polish. So they've got dragon glass and I think this is a little bit transparent but you know if they've got a, a magnetic effect because it's got a little magnet on it which is quite cool and then they've got like these other ones dragon eye ones they've got loads of different collections nebula collection which is that one's called the crab um I think the are these all I think these are star things star nebula's a star yeah Oh, you mean, sorry, yeah, the yeah. crab, it is, yeah. And yeah, the crab, well, yeah. yeah. So that's why those are the ghost. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I mean, they might be a nebula called the ghost, but it might look like a ghost. They might be, I don't know. But the one I want to use, I'm going to use um, this Hellfire Dragon Glass, which says to me it might be a bit transparent, so I'm a bit like, mm, I don't really know exactly what it's going to look like, but we'll give it a go. Before I put that colour on, I'm going to show you what we're going to use today. We're going to use some like really expensive, really technical tools. They're all skin cost you an absolute arm and a leg. <laughs> Ah, so we can see. You just went in the toolbox. We went in the toolbox and I've got a screw. <laughs> I've got whatever they're called. Don't know a hook with screw on. Mm -hmm. We've got some little tack nails. We've got the, one of these things. A hook with a screw. And we've also got a washer. And we've got a few different magnets. So we've got, these are the kind of magnets that you get in lots of the um, different magnets that you get. So you've got like, they're very, they feel very strong, you know. And I'm gonna take them out because I think I prefer to use them out. So we've got these square oblong things. We've got this one that's thinner 
I think this one actually does like a line over it. Um, there's also like the you, you round ones that you can get as well, but I think I'm just gonna use these and we're gonna create, we're gonna see how many different effects we can create with magnets and a load of junk that you can just find around the house that's inexpensive. Just raid your dad's toolbox or your husband's toolbox, yeah? It'll be fine. Let's get the color on. So we're using how fire on top of black. So because we're using two different gel systems, it's actually okay because we're, it, two different gel systems are not touching the natural nail. We have a base coat, which is ours. We have the color, which is ours. And then we have the nail kami gel polish. It, it's okay to do that. What you want to do is check wavelengths of the light and make sure if you're using one light for the oil system, then make sure that the wavelengths match. And also what you need to do is if they don't match, if those wavelengths don't match, then you need to use the according lamp to the brand. What I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this screw, I'm gonna put it on here, like this. I'm just gonna sort of see what this screw does. I'm so confused. I bet it's quite hard for you to see, actually, isn't it? Yeah, Can you see from the side? You get that shift, you tell it's shifting. Yeah? Pull that back through. This is a good thing with cat eye. You can pull it back through, reveal the particles, and then you, what you can do is you can come in with the magnet and whatever the other thing is on the end. So like we have this screw. So the magnet is actually going through the screw Right. Okay. Now do you get me? Yeah. So if you look at the side view, it's probably the easiest. So we've shifted around all the particles. And this is acting as like a little extension. So you can do that. So we use the magnet on its own. And I think the different gel polishes will be slightly different as well. So we use the magnet on its own. Pushes it away backwards. Oh. Can you see? Yeah, you've got it down at the bottom now. And we've kind of got it down at the bottom because the magnet is so close, but then the screw is pushing it away. See, I feel like you have more control when the magnet is not actually in the handle. I don't know why. Is it because the magnet itself has, on different facets of the magnet, it, some are push and pull? Yes. Some and are going to push and pull. Whatever it is. Didn't we talk about this the other day? How does a magnet work? I don't think so. I think I might have talked about it with my client. I've client, got a client who's um, a scientist. Right, so we can do an ombre, look at that ombre. So we have an ombre, we can do that with the actual magnet. So people get confused about which side to use, and even I do. And it is a bit of playing about, because as I put this on here, it's pushing it away. And then as I turn it, it pulls it back. So can you see how I've just pulled a little bit back at the top? You can hardly see it, can you? Well, I'm gonna push it away. And we've actually got an ombre, bit of a smile line ombre, and that's by I'm not I'm going to put that in the lamp just so I can cure that. I say so by holding it like this and rotating it, it's the angle that the magnet is making. Well, it's not making contact. It's 
I'm not even touching it, is it? But it's the magnetic force. When you alter the angle of the magnetic force, that is going to alter what happens on the nail. And you'll notice that like, so if we try and put these in the middle, they won't go. They'll go at the sides, but they won't. Yeah, because it's repelling on one side yeah. and it's attracting on the other. Yes. Yeah. And it's still the same on this side. It's still repelling, but it's attracting on the edges. Yeah. So those edges are attracting, even this edge and even the top edge is attracting. Let's have a look at this magnet, the different shape. So same, so with this one, it's the same, even though it's a different shape, I cannot get that stuck there. It's, it wants to go on at the end. So here it'll connect and it, see how it's connecting there, but that's only because of this is pulling it in and this edge is pulling it in. I couldn't just stick it like that. It wants to move away. So this will go on. That'll stick. That'll stick. And so will that edge. So it's exactly the same for both of these. Now these will push away. Now I wonder what happens when you use two magnets. So if I just show you with the ombre what I did, I know I've cured it now, but what I did was I changed the angle it was at so I was changing where the magnetic force was pulling and pushing. Do it wrong, you can put them in the in the little holders if you want to, and you can twist it like this. But I just like the freedom of being able to use the entire magnet. I like freedom. So let me just um top coat this. So we're not going to get any fuzzies on it because the fuzzies are real. Oh, I'm just going to cure that. Then we're going to use Terra, 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 ter just Terra. Um, Dragon Eye. This is di a different kind of um, cat eye. Colour shifts. Looks interesting. Obviously, cat eyes always work best over a dark colour, hence we're really using black as our base coat. So I'm going to sort of activate by pulling it at the side. Can you see it moving? I've made it too much. That is cool, actually. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I'm going to stack like this. And I'm going to put it over the nail. Oh my god, that's amazing. Get it cured. <laughs> so quick there. I know, I'll show you, I'll show you, yeah. but that was amazing. I thought, you, this is the thing with cat eye. If you don't get it in the lab straight away, it's game over. It starts to just go, uh, it relaxes. It, cause it's like it goes, eh, and then you've got to get in the lab while it's, eh, and then else it goes, eh. but I will show you, don't worry about that. But that, damn. Do you think all the, even once it's been cured, do you think over time? No, it won't it move. Moves. No. No, like when I say over time, I mean like, because do you know glass is actually like, like. Look at that. That is insane. That it's created, there. that it's created that pattern by stacking the magnets in that way. I feel like I want to do this though now. And I want to use the, layer. I want to do just here. I'll try it on this section first. I'm going to use the washer. So if we get the washer, put the washer on the end, it bend it a bit. I know it's pulling it in the middle. 
right in the middle. Because look if I hold that there, it actually pulls it. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Not really. Yeah, I can see it here. It's like um Oh yeah, that like that. You can do it with just a magnet. So what the um let me just flash cure that because when if you can flash it, that's absolutely fine. So really the little flashing torch, the little flashy torch, where's the little flashing torch? Can you see how we've got like another line now? Let's so you don't need to go over the whole thing. You just kind of gun it. Keep it round. Let's get the That looks cool. I did not know it was going to be that good. Right, let's talk about this. I'm excited to use the next implement. Is it an implement? Why does it, the word implement sound rude? Is that just me, Adam? <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> implement. I'm going to use that implement. Yeah, I love that. I love it. Look at that. That is cray cray. Right, we're going to use this one. It's a nebula one. So this is called the wolf. You see, is it that star? I feel like we need to do some research on these nebula sayings or things. Yes. Is it? Yep, there is the wolf nebula. And what's it look like? If I say it looks like a wolf, will you just clip me? <laughs> it just looks like a wolf. Does it actually look like a wolf? Yeah. Like a wolf's face or a wolf's body, like the wolf's silhouette? Head. Wolf's face? Yeah. I mean, look, you can... Or is it one of them you've got squint your eyes a bit no, and imagine? I mean, it, look, it's not, it's not an actual wolf's face. But can you see that? Oh, like the side. The side profile of the mouth open. It could look like a horse, to be honest, that. Mm -hmm. I think it looks like a horse. Do you? I'm Not a, a big, horse. I'm a big fan of horse. Oh, are you? Right. So, I'm going to try and see if this magnet with this O-ring on does anything different than the magnet itself. So, I'm going to try it at the edge first. I'm going to activate first. I'm going to activate Ooh, doesn't seem to be a great deal this one. Oh, it doesn't seem to be a great deal of this magnet. You definitely have a magnet on the bottom. Yeah. Absolutely jack It's not doing anything to put, to put the magnet on it. It's not moving at all, is it? Oh my god. Like oh, a little, a little bit. bit, but God, you've got to get, no, we're not using that one. We don't like that one. So that one's a fail. Right, don't like that one. Don't like the nebula one. Maybe it's the nebula ones I don't like. We give honest opinions on this channel. We're going to use this one. We'll try Dragon Glass. Kader. Oh, it's nice. See, they, it's sometimes a cat eye gel polish is actually just nice as it is. Mm. You know what I mean? Because that's a really nice colour, isn't it? Sorry, what I was saying earlier on about, you know, um, would it move over time? Do you know glass, even though that's a solid, it still moves? Huh? So, I watched this thing. Chat and shit again. No, Chat and shit again. I watched this thing that over time, and I mean time, Oh, thousands like of years. Lots of time. Yeah, yeah. Glass would, would like it's still a, it's, it's still sort of a liquid kind of thing, and it'll. So say you got a glass like a tumbler and you left it on the side for hundreds of years, eventually it would go like that. That's yeah. Really? I need to find out. I, I definitely watched something about that. Was it a dream? No. Yeah, see these are way better because I can see that it activates straight away. 
I can see it's doing something. Right, let's try it. Let's try this, the, the O-ring. Oh, you know, I love an experiment. Oh my God, I'm just getting, I'm just getting caught up in the, the power of the force. <laughs> Right, let's use this ring and see if it does anything. Absolutely jack. Right there. Absolutely jack. Mm, tiny bit, nothing. Let's use the. I wonder if it's because it's doubled. Let's use the little tack nail. Nothing. I wonder if it's because there's two. Hold on. Let's try it. Let's, try, let's give it a chance. Let's try it with one. Oh. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's doing something. Yeah. It, it actually makes rings. Mm -hmm. So stacking two together made it not work. So, would you think stacking it together is going to make it more powerful? I think it kind of didn't, did it? And I feel like you've got to raise, raise the magnet a little bit. So instead of going like that, when you kind of raise the magnet and it kind of pushes it more. Pop it in. I like that. It looks weird. It looks a bit reptile. It's giving reptile. Which one? This one. Oh, the one that's in the lamp. Yeah, I think it's a bit <coughs> reptilian. Is that a word? Yes. Reptilian. It's a real word. Yep. Right, yeah. what I'm going to do with this now is I kind of want to put. I'm going to do it with a. Oh, I'm having a right experiment today. So, what I'm going to do is get a little bit on a palette. I'm going to use the Pammy Pickle up here. I'm going to like do a little circle product here. A little bit bigger. And I'm going to take the magnet on its own. So, can you see what I've done with that little? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we've kind of activated that. I want to do, so I'm going to do in each sort of circle that I did, we're going to do another sort of dot, a little circle of product. Take the magnet, pull it up and then kind of angle it. And flash it. What's that flash towards there? There's one there, what the hell? <laughs> I knew there was one, I'd seen one somewhere. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I found the thing that's going to save me life while doing these designs. Right, we're going to do that. Yeah. Then, watch, we're going to rotate. So see the angle? Slight, and it's a very slight rotation. Then we're going to use the flash lamp, which is a lifesaver when you are doing these kind of designs because you just want to flash it. You don't need to fully cure it. And you haven't got to rely on your client going in the lamp and looking at the design because she'll be looking at the design going, oh, look at that. That looks really interesting. And you're thinking, get it in the lamp. So this flash torch is perfect for it. So I've got an idea. Yeah. Because you've got those screws and stuff. Yeah. What if you just... Did a, like just a quarter of it. Mm -hmm. Put the screw on the end like you did and then just do the tip, like dots. Ooh. Would that work? That is a good idea. Or you could spin it, could you spin it round? No. I've seen that you've got the little pin ones, haven't you? Yeah. So you're really feel, go it to the side and then I just slightly turn the angle. It pushes it. 
to the place that I want it. So glass isn't a liquid. Okay. But it's also not solid, it's an amorphous form. Amorphous? Yeah. So the theory was when old fashioned windows were made, yeah. the little circular ones, have you ever seen those? Yeah. And they're a bit thicker like at the edge. Easy clean they are, aren't they then? Yeah. <laughs> they're so circular they're windows. They're a bit thicker at the bottom. And people were thinking, oh, over time, have they like sagged? Oh. But it's not because of the way that they made it, because they would spin the, the glass yeah. so it would get thicker at the edges like a pizza crust. Yeah. But what they're saying here is that there is molecules moving within the glass. But it's not liquid. So I'm I'm a fan of I'm a fan of this O thingy. I'm a fan of this. So have you got any of these knocking around the house? You can use them and create this cool design. Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you know you get those wind chimes that turn and they send your eyes a bit funny? Mm -hmm. And they've got like lots of rings, 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 and they spin. Yeah. It reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Right, let me top coat that. And we're top coating to seal the design. It's also a tack free top coat so on this one I'm going to use dragon eye in Raimi I would say so Raimi okay and I want to use the bigger hook Captain. So let's activate this. I'll pull it to the side and just sort of change the angle. So I feel like some have more of a cat eye effect than others. I think this might be one of them. It doesn't quite have it as much as the others. Right, let's see what happens with this. Mm. Not a lot. Tiny bit. You see? Mm -hmm. Dragon glass. Mm, I feel like I won't try that. Because if we put the magnet on this, it's 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 not an amazing effect. It's not yeah, it's very it's very subtle. Mm. So, I think you need to do a couple of coats. I don't think a couple of coats wouldn't make any sense, would it? No. Yeah, it's just not a very strong colour. It's not strong enough, that one. So let's try the... See, this looks like it would be nice. Should we try it? Ooh, divination glass. Yeah. It's definitely magnetic. Because I don't want to blame the tool if the gel polish just hasn't got, you know, a really strong cat eye. And I suppose it's a bit personal preference as well how much cat eye effect you want. So that's like a goldy kind of bronze. So let's try. Yes, can automatically see that this already has a better cat eye effect. So let's see if the hook works. That'll be a no. Mm. Well, load rubbish that one is. Maybe but the material it's made out of. Maybe. I mean, it's done. It's done a little bit. It's not done anything fabulous. Let's try a little tack. But will it do it like Adam said? Mm -hmm. Not pushing nothing. No, it's not doing nothing. I'm trying different angles to see if it'll do anything. Nothing. And let's try what you said about putting it on here like that with this one as well and hovering that screw. No. Nope. 
Nothing. Good line as well. Nothing. 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 Ain't doing nothing. So that one's definitely better sort of on its own, but it's not my favourite. Now I'm just turning and seeing what waves we can get with these magnets itself. And you can get some. It's quite nice actually. Quick getting the lamp. I want to do one more. And I want to use the dragon glass center. This is a little bit more. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so this one was created by just twisting. We were quite horizontal. Horizontal, like flat, and then I twisted. So I got it, and then I twisted it like that, and it created these kind of lines. And what you what you could is you could actually paint like a cat eye in there. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm just going to paint a cat eye in here with this one, which is. We'll see if it works. Um, Terry. Let's use Hellfire. So it's about sort of changing the angle. So when you're on it, it's about changing this angle and it's ever so slight. It's this. That's all you need to move it. It's this angle and also where you are around the nail. So it, when I'm at the edge, I'm changing this angle. And when I come round here, I'm also changing and pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing with this slight movement so if you're struggling with any kind of cat eye just change just tweak those little bits like how far away from it you are you want to tweak um, the angle of the actual tool as well the magnet what I want to do on this is just paint a black center to the eye I'm going too far, aren't I? Stop being an idiot. But I feel like you could, you know, you could then frame it mm. with black to make it stand out. You could even like pull in little bits of black detail. I 
I'm not picking up on that. Come on, boo. Yeah, like it. Like it. All right, let's put it in. So with that one, that whole nail we had where we twisted over it with the magnet, and then we just pushed and pulled with an angle like this, and then a simple black slither down the eye, creating that eye. Then we're going to top coat it. Mm. I think the colour kind of makes it look evil as well. Because <laughs> it's kind of like red. I really like that. That's well cool. That is so cool. Mm. I like it. So we're going to use Firestorm again. Quite a cut out. I don't know if we can do a full nail with this guy. I kind of want to see this on a full nail. Right, so let's kind of like activate it to the side. And then. I know, well, let's try and make a love art. Because this love art is all the rage at the minute. And I just thought, well, I wonder if that shape of the scissors will create a heart. Do you know what I mean? And it, I know it kind of does. It's not exactly perfect, but I'm gonna see if I can, the points are too far away. Okay. Okay, a bit closer. That seems to work better. I love how that happens. Look at that. Phew. It's like you just disappeared off the nail. I know. <laughs> and then it just That's a strong magnet. Yeah. And the other way I wanted to try and do it is I was thinking to myself, because you can do this with a paper clip here. Yeah? Like a big thing at the minute. But I wonder if you could do it with two nails because I haven't got a paper clip, so not everybody's got a paper clip. <laughs> My God. Oh, that's a bit cool. Did you see it? I don't know why the screw doesn't like it. Well, it worked earlier though, didn't it? No, the screw has never worked. No, I thought it worked earlier. Disappointing that the screw. Oh! 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 Do that again? That was a fluke. Cause you said point it about 
the other way, yeah. but this way works, Adam. So, because it's got more, more metal mm -hmm. there. Surface area. Yeah, that was the word that I was looking for. Bigger surface area. It's got more, more surface metal. area. More metal duct. It's got more metal on the end. <laughs> so we can go like that. Do we, can we angle it? Yes. Can we? Oh, I haven't activated it. I thought it wasn't working quite as good. Sorry, give me a second, guys. Just join me. Talk much it sounds while I just re do my thing. If the nail was shorter, you'd be able to get a like a um an aura kind of nail. Do you know like see how it pushes away in the middle? Oh yeah, so like like you know when the sun gets one of those sort of Yeah. Oh actually. Kind of worked. So it's kind of just round the edge. Everything's pulling here then. Everything's just sticking to everything. This video is going to be called Watch Kirsty Lose His Shit With Magnets and Cat Eye. Do you know what I especially like to do? I especially like to draw patterns into the cat eye once you've activated it. I especially like it. It look really nice. Yeah, I really like doing this. I know we've done it before, but I just, I like that. I like it. It looks cool. You need a magnetic brush. <laughs> oh my God. Adam. I think you might be onto something there. <laughs> Can you So you can do these little dots and it kind of pushes it away with the screw to get that effect. And we can kind of do the same with that. Look at what that, what, what is going on. <laughs> Put that in my lap. You know what, we did this one and we did those extra bits. We could do that with that as well. So you can use, the, I think the screw, I like the screw. My favourite is this, this O-ring screw thing. Somebody tell me what it's called because this... Is it like for, you know, when you've got like a, a line like that you want to put through something like um... a... blind or no. a, um, a, net, a netting in the window. Yeah, like that is, yeah, yeah it's, it's that. But it? what is it called? But we need to know, Adam. I have no idea. Somebody needs to tell me what it's called because it's. I, I liked this effect, and but I think the win, the win of this, I think is definitely stacking. Though it is tricky, because it just wants to keep sticking to itself. So, ah, stack, stack. I loved this stacking. Stacking your magnets. That, that, and this one for the win. Definitely. So I'm just going to do the same as what we did before with the. Um, I might do it with a different colour. Shall I do it with a different colour? Oh, let's do it with a different colour. Let's do it with a different colour. Let's top coat this. Do 
So, first one we did was the ombre, and all we did was rotate. So we just turned very short rotations, just slightly angled. We just changed the angle to create the ombre, which I think was one of the easiest ones, but I actually really, really like that. I love, I'd like to see it on a natural nail as well and see what it does, I like that. So that was changing the angle of your magnet, okay? Then we had this one, oh, and this was stacking. So we got that effect by stacking, and I quite like that. And it happened really quickly as well. And I liked adding those other bits on just to make it a little bit different. This one I do love because all we used was a magnet, but we kind of twisted it. So we didn't hold it straight, we twisted it and pulled the product into this shape. And then did the center and just pulled a little bit of the pigment, those magnetized parts, just pulled them up and added the detail. This one, I love this one. This one's probably quite possibly my favorite because it kind of sends your eyes a little bit weird. And I kind of like, I like the weirdness of it. And that was with this. Like, how cool is that? I bet you've got one of them knocking around the house. Or you can just pull your shower curtains down or not get yeah. shower curtains, neck curtains. Pull your neck curtains down, you could pull your neck curtains down. Yeah. Neck curtains these days, I know, it's not very fashionable, is it? We tried these, they didn't really do much. I mean, we, we could put them on the magnet into like a bit of a bit of a V, and yeah, they created a bit of a cool effect, but it wasn't my favourite. Um we obviously put them onto the cuticle scissors to create a bit of a heart shape. I wouldn't say that was really successful. You definitely need a paper cup for that. Um, and then the screw. Now the screw I thought was gonna be a failure, but then because we used the more surface area one and we pushed it like that, we kind of got these, this wavy design. And then we added the other color and just magnetized that and pulled some of the pigment, pulled and pushed it so you get this cool effect. I quite like it. Pretty cool, I think. Overall, what I've learned from that experiment is the driving nuts a little bit, do magnetic um, gel polishes. Some are better than others. I like the ones with the slightly grainier particles, but that is personal preference. Um, if you've got any top tips of how to do magnetic cat eye gel polish pop them below because i want to know all the low down remember when i did the jelly stamping nails and i was really bad at it this is kind of a bit like that i don't think it's as bad as that okay it's not as, <laughs> it's not as bad as that okay because we did get some cool designs um but now this experiment i want to know what you've done let us know because you'll help not only me but you'll help other people in the comment section as well um so there there you are don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao, duck!